Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today we are going to do a layout share. I'm getting ready to put away my layouts for April and May. Let's see what I've got. Okay, so I have quite the stack of layouts here. I am going to carefully tip it to the side so you can see what I'm dealing with. Um, here is my immense stack of layouts from April and May. So I usually put my layouts away at the end of every month and for whatever reason I did not get to it at the end of April. I think probably because I was working the last weekend of April and then the first weekend in May was National Scrapbook Day and I didn't want to put layouts away. I wanted to play. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Anyhow, Grab a coffee, grab a tea, grab a drink, grab whatever is going to keep you busy so you can watch along for the next little bit. I'm going to share all of these layouts with you with the exception of these ones on the top because I already have a layout share for the toy box collection. I bashed one whole col um, collection uh, over National Scrapbook Day weekend and so I wanted to share that with you already. So I will link that video below if you haven't seen it yet and you want it, want to have a look. So these are the layouts that I did from that weekend. So I will set those aside and we will start with my most recent layout from the month of May. So this is a layout that was inspired by Sketch Support, um, the Allison Davis for SG uh, series that she has running with her blog and her um, she also has a Facebook group and a YouTube channel so I will link all of that below so this was done with the Echo Park Little Lumberjack collection and there's a video for this one this one here I'm gonna set these all aside and do one at a time because they're really close to the camera it's crazy okay this one is Let the Good Times Roll. It's a bowling layout. It was also inspired by a sketch from Sketch Support with Allison Davis and also with the Lumberjack Collection, Little Lumberjack Collection by Echo Park. This one was inspired by She's Crafty on YouTube. She did a free class with 6x6 paper pads and um, I had fallen behind on it, so this was one of my catch-up layouts. So I will link her channel below as well, or her playlist for that free class, if you're interested. This was another She's Crafty 6x6 paper pad free, or mini paper pad free class that she did. So here is one of those layouts as well, and this one was done with the uh, Chamel Never Grow Up collection. Then I have another Valentine's layout here that was also inspired by She's Crafty on YouTube and I will um, link that below. But the, the sketch was all about using mini paper pads but I used washi instead. And there is a video for that one as well. This one is uh, inspired by the Allison Davis for SG class that is running currently right now and it is a six by six paper pad collection or no six by six paper pad sketch class and I don't think you can access it anymore but I will link the sketch book that goes along with the class down below and you can purchase the kit the sketches if you'd like I think it's only about twelve dollars USD and here's a there is a YouTube video for that. There's a YouTube video for this one as well. Baby It's Cold Outside. This was created with the Winter Winter Wonderland, I think, collection from Echo Park. And it was inspired by a prompt on the SG Scrap Squad for National Scrapbook Day. And it was basically to use this square formation made out of triangles and build a layout and I got 
five photos on this one page layout. Um, there is a YouTube video for this one as well. This YouTube video is all about using old papers and making modern layouts. So I used a cut file to bring out these Bow Bunny papers from 2007 and I used some letters from 2005. And I think my layout looks fairly modern. So um, yeah, there's a YouTube video for this one as well. Now this one had a video, but I've seemed to have lost the footage. I don't know if I'll ever find it, but it was inspired by another um, Scrapbook Generations sketch that they posted free for International Scrapbook Day, and I will have their SG Scrap Squad Facebook group linked below where you can find that. I have this one, which was also inspired by SG Scrap Squad International Scrapbook Day prompts, and it was to build a letter out of triangles of paper and I have a video for this one as well. This one has a video. It is more about the technique of creating chevrons out of triangles of patterned paper um, than it is about creating the actual layout. So if you are interested in learning how to do this, it's actually quite simple, although it looks complicated and it, I, I just love the effect that it gives. So, and you don't need a ton of paper. I think I used three two by two squares for each row of chevron. I think I did this one with a four by six pocket card. So there's that. And I have this one also inspired by a prompt on the SG Scrap Squad for International Scrapbook Day. And it was all about using an inspiration piece with large hexagons. The hexagons in their inspiration piece were this way with the strip of paper at the top and I just flipped the sketch because my photo was vertical and I wanted it to go this way. So there's a YouTube video for that. This one was inspired by a free sketch from uh, Jennifer Edwardson, Creative Ink, and I will have her information linked below as well. And she does free lives on Sundays for her Facebook followers. And this is one of the lives that she we I followed along with and created a layout for. So there's a, a YouTube video for that. There is a video for this one, um, Happy Meal. And it was also inspired by a sketch from Scrapbook Generations. And I used Sparkle City by Chamel for this layout. This one was inspired by another sketch from Scrapbook Generation. And it, I, for this one, I used a six by six paper pad from Bow Bunny called Little Monster, I think. And then I used Bow Bunny um, embellishments, but they were from a birthday collection. I think it was called Surprise. There is a video for this one as well. This one has a video. This is uh, Meeting New Friends, and it is also inspired by a Scrapbook Generations sketch. And it was one of their sketches they used in a prompt for International Scrapbook Day. So there is that one. And there's a technique video for this one showing how to make a ribbon star. This is all ribbon. And I don't know about you, but sometimes when there's nice texture on my layout, I like to just feel it for a second. But yes, there's a technique video on how to make the star. And this is the layout that I made with my ribbon star. So there is a video for this one, but it's more about the technique than making the, the layout. Um, here is one that was inspired by uh, Allison Davis's sketch, sketches for six by six paper pads class. And it, and the star border was inspired by her mom, Debbie Saunders, who used the star border from International Scrapbook Day on their Facebook page in her layout. And I wanted to do the same. I really liked the way it looked, so. That's that layout. There is a video for that. This one is also inspired by SG Scrap Squad 
International Scrapbook Day prompts, and it was to use embellishments that were circle shaped, but more um, like th to go with your theme. And so I chose gears, which are in the shape of a circle. And I got patterned paper gears and gear brads and gear wood veneer. And I really love how this one turned out. There's a video for this as well. Now this one does not have a video. This one was inspired by me trying to use up all the baby things. So I have a huge stack here that I'll show you that is all about the baby layouts. So I had a box of boy baby themed um, papers and some embellishments left and I wanted to get those used up. So I did end up emptying the box. This is one of the layouts. These were pre-made things. One said congrats and one said hello, but I didn't have the S anymore. I'd used it for something else, so I changed it to cargo. Um, and I just typed the letters in of congrat into a Scrabble word finder. And this is one that came out and I thought, yep, I can make that work. Hello, precious cargo, because he's in the car seat. And so this one does not have a video, but it was just me using up my, my patterned papers that were baby themed, boy baby themed. Here's another one that was all, oh, probably should have covered these up. Uh, that was all about uh, using up my baby boy themed patterned papers. And so I just was taking my scraps out of the box and making a layout out of them. Nothing too wild and crazy. This one I was, too light for me so I added a pop of black to it and I really like the way it turned out. Here's how I used up some um, some thickers that need to go so I used it for my and then I put some kisses along the bottom. And then this one was another one I didn't have much embellishment left towards the end but I did have these like animal cracker things so I used that. Um, and this was just all about using up. And this is another one that I just had scraps. And instead of, um, you know, putting them on a like heavy cardstock, I just used one of those sheets that you pull out of your um, scrapbook pages, like your page protectors. And so I used one of those sheets to glue my scraps down on. This is another one using up my baby scraps and trying to use up the um, specific boy themed uh, words that I had left over. This was a quilling piece I've had in there forever and ever and it's just super cute. I love the dimension it gives. This was not really my style of paper and I'm not sure why I kept it, but um, I really liked how it went with these old-fashioned Winnie the Pooh bits so I did end up keeping it and making some layouts out of it so that's that and I had quite a quite a bit left of this monkey paper this was a Daisy D collection and it was quite old I can't remember how long ago but early 2000s so um, but I did love the sock monkeys and I felt like they could go on pretty much any little boy page so I made the most out of it. I made a few layouts with it and uh, this was some more of those um, pre-made titles that we had or I had from Pebbles I think. There's another monkey one. Sleepy babe. <laughs> and here's one that was from a Pebbles collection but I was running low on it so the the background paper was just off of my kind of faux solid shelf, so it had nothing to do with that, but there you have it. That's how I went about that one. And here's another one from that Pebbles Baby Boy collection. I actually picked up these papers at the Dollar Tree, of all things, after watching a haul video from... Um, can't remember what she calls herself on YouTube but I will link her channel down below Jennifer is her name and she lives near in a city that's only a few hours away from me so I 
took the chance that we would have it at our Dollar Tree as well, and we did. Um, here's one on a pretty old collection of paper too. I don't remember where this one is from exactly, but got some more of that baby boy paper used up. Um, this one, I think, let's see. This one was inspired by, I want to say, I think this was the 4 for 4 series from RTS. I did the baby version of her series on her YouTube channel, so I'll link that below. And this was one of the layouts for that. And so basically you take four sheets of paper and cut them down and make four layouts out of them. And so this was one of them. This was another from the 4 for 4 series by RTS, and I will link that playlist down below as well. And here is another um, layout from 4 for 4. I wonder where the fourth layout is. <laughs> I don't see it. Hopefully we'll come across it eventually. Or maybe I already passed it and didn't realize it was from that. Okay. So then this one was one single sheet of paper that I had that I really, really thought was super cute. And so I cut the, um, Fussy cut the bears out of the top half of the sheet. And this was on the back, this stripe. And I cut that out and I just made a very cute layout. And I think I got that sheet of paper also at the dollar store, but I thought I can make a whole layout with that cute paper. And I did. This one is, again, me using up my baby stuff. Is this the way it goes? No, nope, it goes this way. And this is a two pager. And this was just one sheet of paper that had like shelves and shelves of toys. And so I cut it and made it into a border to go across the top. And then the third shelf, I fussy cut the little pieces out of and made embellishments out of them. Here is another one where I wanted to just use up this random piece of baby paper that I had. And uh, this is more of that Swiss dart, Swiss dot cardstock from Basil that I love. This one was super old vellum from way back in the day. I think I got this at like hmm, Crafts Canada or something. Anyway, it's cute. All right. To adhere this vellum, I ran it through my Xyron. So I have a five inch Xyron and that's how I got that to stick down. And this one I just have glue kind of in behind the photos because this background sheet is like a quilted vellum. Yeah. So got that baby stuff used up. And then this one was like a pre-printed sheet, which sometimes I struggle with, but I think this one turned out okay. Here's him in the pool with mommy and daddy. This one was inspired by a free class at Creative Collaboration. So I will link their Facebook page below. They, every once in a while, open up their membership. And when they do, they often offer free or inexpensive weekend classes. So this is one. And it has these, like, pull-out tags and this very cool layered border, border title I really love what they do and I wish I could justify the monthly fee but I can't because I already have as as you saw before <laughs> a long list of classes to catch up on so there's that this one was one I wanted to finish up from a uh, crop and create delivered back in I believe November or October and um, I kind of saved these ones with this I think it's the Wonder Collection from Paige Evans for because I knew I was having a little baby granddaughter and so I waited until after she was born and then it sat on the shelf of course for a while so here it is all finished up and all it is is a one of those Paige Evans sheets that's got like two by two squares and then you tear like cut them out and then tear the bottoms and layer underneath and this is the same kind of concept as my star um layout that had the ribbon star underneath so if you are curious about how to do that you can watch that video it will be linked below 
And then this is a two page layout from the same class from Crop and Create Delivered that I just hadn't finished. So I got some pictures on there and a title. And I thought this was cool because this class kit came already um, made up for us, of course. And this um, alpha is a Halloween themed alpha. But look at how cute it is on this baby layout. So sometimes we need to look carefully at products before discounting them. Uh, this one was from the attendee kit from the Crop and Create Delivered back in the fall. And it was actually meant to be a two page layout, but I didn't have any stories I wanted to tell that went with this particular paper that had enough photos. So I just picked photos from a trip to Portland and photos from a trip to Toronto. And I made two separate layouts that will go into totally separate um, albums. Nobody will be the wiser except for you and me. So don't tell my family. And this one is another one that was just from the attendee kit from Crop and Create that I just hadn't ever tackled until I started going through my list of classes that I haven't finished. So here's one. And here is the last one from that Crop and Create attendee kit. And it is super cute too. All right. So they give you like on top of all the classes you get this attendee kit and it comes with like instructions on how to make, I think it was four, well three layouts, one double page, right? One double page and two and a, and two single page layouts. And it's just part of your registration fee. This one I scrap lifted from somebody on Instagram and I forgot to write her name down but I will link her layout below and it she said it was from a crop and create as well but it was probably from the last one because I didn't get that one but it's super cute and I it was a one page or one photo layout but I had two photos to tell this story so I used one of those flip flaps from mm, close to my heart there we go and I used the free bird collection from photo play for this one and while I had that out I made another layout using Freebird from photo play and this is what it looks like and again I used a flip flap from close to my heart to get all the photos that I wanted to add into my layout this one um, I think this one was just I had I had one uh, collection kit um, at a retreat that I went to back in the fall. While things were kind of semi-opened up here, we did like a socially distanced retreat. Those didn't last very long, but I got to go to one. <laughs> and um, so I had one this like home feel kind of um, thing. And then I picked up these uh, chipboards that I thought would go really well with it and so I went to find the paper and to put the chipboard in with and I was like I had just seen these photos and was like I'm gonna make a layout with it before I put it away so I did it's cute and this one and I can't remember what it's called happy at home I don't know it was from I think it was also from photo play this one was again using up the scraps of baby paper that I had left in in the little boy's bin and I think this was the last one that used up all the rest of the paper and I struggled with this one a bit because it had been cut kind of like weird like there's like all these angled pieces but I really liked the way it turned out. I think sometimes those kind of things make me a bit more creative if I'm determined enough to follow through with it. This one is from the Blue Skies collection um, from Simple Stories, Blue Skies and Sunshine or something like that. And it, it, it had this lemonade stuff in it and I knew I had these lemonade stand pictures from when this is actually the daddy of my little grandbaby. So 
look how young he was, like maybe 10-ish. What year is this? 2000? Oh, so yeah, he was 10. And yeah, I knew I had these and it was a story I really wanted to tell because they were so excited when like the firemen stopped. I wish I had a picture of the fire truck, but they parked it kind of further down the street and the city bus driver. And they thought that was so cool that those people stopped. So when I saw the lemonade stuff, it made me think of that story. And these little kites, I kind of scrap lifted this and my next layout from a friend of mine. And she had taken a class or something and she learned how to make these little kites. And I was like, can you show me? And so we did a, a Zoom call and she showed me how to make the little kites. And then I also scrap lifted this one from her. Cause she was sending me pictures of what she was making in her class. So I scrap lifted this one too. I scrap lifted the title and like the angled piece from it. And then these like circle flowers. They're just three punched circles layered on top of each other. I thought that was pretty cute. This is also really old pictures. I was scanning some photos and decided that I was gonna scrap some of them. 2005. Um, this is a mixed media layout that was inspired by uh, Vicki Booten Friday Night Live that I decided to join in on. I don't, I like to watch her and I usually just like listen to her and watch her, but I don't follow along cause I'm a big chicken when it comes to mixed media, but I did this one. And I love it. I've used her iridescent glaze and added ink to it to make it this blue color. And did some stenciling. Mine is not nearly as pretty as hers, but it's still cute. And then for the actual putting together of the layout. So I did the mixed media following Vicky. And then for the actual putting together of the layout, I kind of scrap lifted from Wil Wilma first no um, Missy Whitten that's who it was I was like you know <laughs> the girl so it was a Missy Whitten layout that I scrap lifted so I will see if I can find that and link that below as well and then this one was another national scrapbook day uh, challenge and it was a uh, one hit wonder challenge so the one hit wonder was from rediscover your stash so I used some papers that were not even from the same collection they were out of my scrap bin and then I found a background paper that semi matched it and I put it on black background and then the other um, so it was like three Facebook groups that wanted you to create one layout and use that one layout to enter all of their international scrapbook day contests so one of them was rediscover your stash so i used older papers another one was cut to you so i used the cut to you cut file that came in my newsletter at christmas time these are actually christmas stars and then the other one was spiegel mom scraps and it was all about using sequins so it was to, this sketch was from Rediscover Your Stash. I will link her Facebook group below. The cut files were from Cut To You. I will link them below. And the sequins was from Speak Mom Scraps. This is not actually her sequins. I don't have any of her sequins, but I have a really full bin of sequins. <laughs> so I will use that first. And that's what this is. And I entered all three of their contests. And I actually won some free cut files from this layout from the uh, cut to you. And so maybe I'll do a layout uh, share of those as well. So here we go. And that is my final layout. I did not count them, but this is one heck of a stack. And I have a lot of work to do to put it away. So, um, I'll just tell you a little bit about my process for putting away my layouts before I go. And all I do is I make piles on the floor of whose album they go in. So this one would go in Emmy's album, Emmy's album. This one goes in my family albums, family, Quentin's album, Quentin's album. This goes in a vacation album. Um, this one would go, this also goes in a, a different vacation album, Emmy's album, this is a vacation album, 
Emmy, and so on. So I will make stacks of what goes in what in various albums and then I will take one stack at a time and pull out that album and put them away. So if you have any questions about that, pop them in the comment box down below. I'm always happy to hear from you. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please click that like button to give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to know more about the things we talked about, click that show more button under the video description below to find the links to the things that we talked about. And if you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that notification bell so you will know every time a new video goes up. Thanks for watching and have a great day everyone. So I just wanted to pop back in before I let you guys go today and let you know that I did count my layouts and I have 70 single page layouts and eight double page layouts. And for those of you who count pages and not layouts, that is a total of 86 pages. So I have a lot of putting away to do. I hope you guys ha are having a fantastic day.